Hey, in the latest episode of Hack My Growth, we're going to be talking about Google's transition away from the structured data markup tool into the new rich results test. Hey, thanks for checking out this video. If this is your first time watching or maybe been watching a while and you have not yet subscribed to our channel, please do so now. We create new content each and every week to help you get the most out of your digital marketing activities. So as I said in the opener, we're gonna be discussing how Google is transitioning away from the structured data testing tool into the new Ritz results tester. So this is a pretty big change and the structured data tool is something that I've used for a number of years and really grown to like quite a bit to help me find errors in my structured data and also to validate and test my structured data before implementing it on my site. Now the new rich results tester is still a great tool and it's a tool that I've also been using even though it's been in beta for quite a while. But now that this tool has come out of beta, Google is going to be removing or getting rid of the structured data tool and making all webmasters move into the rich results tester. So in this video, we're gonna be looking at the new rich results testing tool, the features that it has, how you can use it, how you could leverage this tool to help validate your markup, but also make sure that your, your pages are eligible to get into those rich features. And also some of the things that we're gonna miss with the structured data helper tool, which has been with us for quite some time. And, and definitely it's one of those things that I'm sad to see go. All right, so now we're gonna switch over to screen share and we're gonna dive into both of those tools. All right, so this is the structured data testing tool from Google. If you watched any of our videos in the past, you've probably been pretty familiar with it. If you're into structured data or you've been leveraging uh, schema.org, uh, microdata, things of that nature for years, you've probably used this tool one time or another. It's pretty simple. You just type in the URL of any site you want to look at, and let's just do one that we don't own. You go ahead and put in the domain. It's gonna run the test and the tool is going to extract all the code over here and then display all of the structured elements on the right side. So that took a little bit longer than I was hoping, so we went ahead and sped it up. But the really cool part of this tool is it allows you to quickly identify errors within your code. So right here we're seeing that two of the JSON LD markups on Best Buy's page are actually having some errors. It's, it's missing either uh, you know an in bracket or maybe a comma or something along those lines, which is actually preventing it from actually going in here and validating their website schema. So this tool is extremely helpful for us to find those errors and then fix those errors so that we can then uh, actually have this organizational schema on our website and making sure that it's all working correctly in the way that it should. Now, you can also use this tool to uh, run, run a new test and actually run just a specific code snippet. So we could even, you know, just come in here and paste some, some basic uh, JSON LD, run the snippet, and then it's going to spit out and show us, okay, yes, you have, you know, you're valid. There's no errors. There's no warnings. Everything's looking great. So Google's moving away from this tool. I'm a little bit bummed. I, I love this tool. Use this tool quite a bit. Um, but let's look now at the new rich results tool um, and the tests that we can perform over there. All right, so you'll notice one thing similar here. We have the options to either do a URL or a code in particular. So we'll go ahead and do the code that we had first. You know, we can go ahead and paste it in here. We can select either Google Desktop or smart, uh, Smartphone. We just go ahead and click test the code. Now what this is doing is very similar to the structured data tool where it's going to show us, okay, this code is eligible for rich results this is the type of rich result that we would have and this is the information uh, stacked right in here now there's no loading issues it's going to show us some information on that you can even now pull in the the rendered html which again this is just a code input so there's really not a whole lot going on here but if we just had this on a page it would render um, and it would be quote unquote eligible for for the rich results so the structured data can generate that so let's run best buys url again and see the difference in this tool as opposed to the structured data testing tool. All right, so we've run uh, Best Buy's website again here through the rich results test. And now what you're seeing is this big red uh, exclamation point and not all markup is eligible for rich results. So unlike the structured data testing tool where it's gonna show our code here and I can just you know click here on the elements and look specifically at the JSON that we're having issues with, in the new rich results tool, we're going to see right here a parsing error. So what you can do is click the view rendered HTML and this will actually bring the code up on your site. Now you can click this line here and it's going to pull you to where it's finding the issue, which would be right here within the website schema, as well as here in the 
organizational markup. So right here, you can see the issue here is the name, and, and the problem actually is is they're not using quotations like they should be. So as you can see, you know we've got the quotes here for the content. The, you know the quotes are actually really important because those are open and close your your arguments here in your JSON. So because these are not placed in here. Um, it actually can't parse the data, so it doesn't understand that this is a name or a URL. Now you need to know a little bit about how JSON-LD works and how structured data is built in order to find those issues, but you can still find them here. You can still click. It'll bring you to that line of code that you're having an issue with. So you can go ahead and X this out. Now some of the nice things, it actually will show you, you know, the type of rich feature you can actually rank for. And when you look in Search Console, you actually can see this exact same name like a breadcrumb rich feature you can drop it down it'll show you exactly how it's typed out or how it's being read it's not going to show you the same like it is over here with you know the at type element position how it's kind of broken down the way json is written here it just uh it looks a little bit different so you're not going to have the extra elements here but um still pretty well done again you can look this code up here and it'll show you exactly where it is here in their script so there are some cool features here with this tool as well. They've also got um, you know, a, a, a quick links to the gallery like they used to have over here in the structured data testing tool and also some of the reports that you can go to right within Search Console. So if you notice that this tool actually fits within the Webmaster Tools or Search Console, what it's known as now. Another cool feature with the rich results test is it's going to pull up more than just the eligible markup. It will also show you things like page loading issues. So you can view the details here and you can notice here when we ran this test not all the page resources were loaded. So letting us know that hey this could impact how Google sees and understands the page so you might want to make sure that you know which pages that you're loading and which pages parts of the page you're not. You know, In some cases maybe you're blocking some JavaScript or something or CSS that you don't really need um, Google to crawl but it also could be things that you might need Google to crawl, might want them to crawl and fetch. So it's important to look through these and really understand uh, how your page is being crawled and if all that information uh, that you want Google to see is, is able to be seen. So there's some cool features here, the rich, uh, rich results test. I think my favorite thing, the thing I'm gonna miss the most about this is it's just so simple. You know, you put your URL in, you put your code in. It's very easy to see, um, you know, kind of click and expand, and you're not really having to open all these other windows. The rich results test has a number of cool features. I think it's really visually intriguing. Like when you, when you do validate your code, you have this big green image, you know, and so you know it's, it's good and red is bad. I think that's helpful. Um, you know, having some of these call-out boxes may not be as intuitive, but it's something that we'll all have to get used to. And I think, uh, you know, over time, we'll grow to really love this tool. And you know it still has the uh, the ability to narrow down and actually help us find where the issues could be within our code and why it's not validating. I think the other added benefit to this tool is when it comes to the page loading issues, you know, and allowing us to really understand how that page is being crawled, how the search crawler is understanding, are we sending them the right information, are they able to make sense out of our pages, and that's really what structured data is all about: is making sure that we're speaking the language of the search engines and giving them the information that they understand in the ways that they best understand it. And then you know, page loading obviously plays a huge role in that because if they can't fully read your page, your content, your code, then they're gonna have a much harder time uh, making sense out of your content. So rich results test is the test to go for now. It's the one that we should be using and really prioritizing. Google will be sunsetting the structured data testing tool. And if you use this tool right now, you'll get a little box that pops up letting you know that that's happening. So we're gonna have to say goodbye to this cool tool and say hello to using rich results tests a lot more. I hope you guys found something useful with this video. If you have any questions, please comment below. We'd love to continue this conversation. Please subscribe to our channel as we create new content each and every week to help you out. And also feel free to share this with anybody that you think uh, would get some value out of this video and this content. And until next time, Happy market.